What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 4v4 S&D gameplay on the map Warhawk. Um, I believe this is a 6-0, and I get several clutches. I think I get an ace at one point as well, so it's a pretty good gameplay, um, especially in the first few rounds. That's where I do most of my work. Uh, but today's video is going to be about how to deal with parents who are against gaming, and this is something I get asked a lot in the comments or on Twitter DMs or things like that. Um, partially because, you know, it's just a popular question to be asked, but also because, you know, my my mom didn't really want me playing video games for the first couple years either. So I kind of have some experience with it, and I'm going to try and give you guys some tips and tricks on it. Um, you know, a lot of it depends on the situation, so just take what you can and apply it to your situation, whatever the issue is. So the first thing to remember is that your parents do love you, at least, you know, the majority of parents. There are some bad parents out there, but the majority love you, and they're looking out for your best interest. So they have what they believe to be good reasons to keep you from playing games. And to work with this, you need to communicate with them. And when I say communicate, I don't mean scream at them. I mean communicate. Sit down, have a talk. Nobody raise their voices. Just go over what the issues are, what the barriers are to you being allowed to play uh, the games or to be allowed to play more. Um, so I'm, now I'm going to kind of talk about some things that kind of seem to be the major obstacles or the major misconceptions or things like that that the parents have. So the first thing is responsibilities and this would include homework, your job, chores, you know, depending on your age range and what's going on. Um, your parents may be concerned because they may see your grades dipping because you're doing an increased amount of gaming. They may see you blowing off homework or not doing your chores when you're supposed to be. And this is something that's going to make just about any parent take away your console or reduce your gaming time, and that's not what you want. So if you're doing that, what you need to do is do the work first, or if you can show the maturity level and they'll allow it, make a plan, show them how much you'll do before and how much you'll do after. Let's say you got a tournament and it's right after school, you know, show them, all right, I'm gonna do this after the tournament. And then you gotta do it because if you don't do it, they're not gonna trust you and you gotta keep your word on this. Um, also, you can do chores and things like that without even being asked, just do it because then they'll see that you're more mature and they're more likely to give you some more freedoms on it. Uh, next thing is, the parents seem to be concerned with the violence in the video games themselves or they'll be concerned with how you're acting during and after the video games because let's be honest there's a lot of ragers that play Call of Duty um, if you are one of these people or if your parents are just concerned about the violence uh, first the violence in the video games I actually did a research paper on this uh, back in high school and from the research that I was gathering and everything it's what seemed to be the general trend was that Video games can cause increased amounts of aggression for brief periods during and after the gaming experience. It's not a long-term effect unless there's other mental issues going on with that. So you should be fine on that, and you can find research on this if you want and try and show your parents that. Um, as far as working on your temper, you know, you got to work on your anger management. Think before you speak. Um, do some deep breaths when something pisses you off. Uh, you can clench your fist even on your controller or something and then just let it go You know that releasing that tension can be really good. Also if things just get out of hand learn to step back take take a break um, Go for a run go for a walk, you know do something healthy and that that can help too uh, Next thing is money and this is something I don't see quite as often But I'll see sometimes the parents are fine with it But they don't have the money to allow you to have a console or to have the new controller or to pay for the good internet and things like this. And then if, if this is your problem, um, it, it, you know, it sucks, but the thing you've really got to do is go find a job or go mow some lawns or something, uh, depending on how old you are. Do what you can, chip in, and then hopefully you can have the money for your gaming stuff. Uh, next thing is scheduling, and this is something that I also had to work with quite a bit, was, you know, just... Because my internet isn't that good, I have to schedule around my family's times for who gets to use the internet when, because otherwise everybody's lagging. And so what you got to do here is you got to try and take it in as far in advance as possible. Sit down with your teammates and your parents and talk about when y'all are going to be using the internet, when you need to be playing, things like that. And then it's also a give and take relationship here. Don't just take it all. 
you got to be able to allow your family to have some internet time as well if this is your issue. Uh, last thing here that I'll have time for is they don't understand the gaming community or they don't understand how it could be a job. And to this, all you need to do is really show them good role models and show them how much these big time YouTubers and streamers and competitive players actually make. Um, and when I say good role models, you know, you know these people, um, people like Nadeshot or, um, you know, it's just, you don't show them people that are bad on the gaming community. I mean, obviously you should be honest and acknowledge that they exist, but show them the good side of it as well. Show them who you're looking up to and things like that. And hopefully that will help them change their minds. Also guys, last thing, remember, this is a process for a lot of parents, um, with gaming and things like that and you've got to show them that you're serious about it but you've got to take their interest in mind as well so hopefully this helps as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what i can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out